Hi, I'm Gabriel Castro from ExoticWoodPen.com. In this video, I'm going to use an offcut from this segmented Churchill Rollerball pen, and I'm going to make a wood segmented guitar pick out of it. And uh, we'll show we'll you how we do it. Cody Purple Heart again. This is an offcut from um, some chevrons for a segmented pin I'm turning. Um, this is this is the chevrons here, the Bacote, the Bloodwood, and the Purple Heart, and uh, this is it right here, the exact same thing. You can see this extra little piece of Purple Heart that I added on afterwards. So on the back side, it's sanded out to where it's nice and even. So typically now this is the back side, and I'm going to make a segmented guitar pick using this right here so I have a, a uh, fender guitar pick and that's going to fit and I'm just going to balance that out right in the middle of that like so you trace it out Okay, so this is the first part you can see that, that fits on there pretty good um, so we're not going to waste any wood normally I would use my small bench top bandsaw but trying to get that to cut a straight line good luck so that's why I'm using this I've got a three-quarter inch blade I've got a zero clearance throat plate on the bottom and I'm gonna go ahead and use my miter my miter gauge that's set to go up against the fence. We'll go ahead and turn this on and Looks like those are a little bit thicker but that's okay so I've got three of these and then I'll just retrace that on those and then um, I can probably that's still thick enough barely to get one out of but I'm not going to bother with it. I'll just throw that away Okay, so now I'm at the small bandsaw, and I'm just going to rough shape these cuts out. Okay, so you can see they're roughly cut, roughly shaped, and we'll just go ahead and do one of these. Turn the vacuum on. I'm using my mini lathe with a six inch uh, disc sander attached to it. I have a YouTube video on, on how I made this, and I use this as a disc sander because I don't have one. So I'm just gonna roughly shape it. i 
finish that with all other three off camera. Okay, all three of these are roughly shaped. Now we'll go to the next process. Okay, now I've switched out my disc sander with a Jacobs chuck and a small Dremel end. I re-centered my uh, dust collector here for the, this is gonna be on a slow speed and I'm just gonna work these corners all the way around. Now this is kind of a long process. Once you get to here, it's about 20 minutes of shaping but I, but it goes by pretty quick. I won't, I'll speed it up on here and I'll probably cut out half of it so that you, you don't have to go through this. can kind of get an idea starting to relieve those edges a little bit and then I've drawn in a little centerpiece right there and I'm going to do something like this on both sides where I'm going to hollow that out and that's going to be where you're going to grip that with your fingers so it'll be much more comfortable now these picks are only good for for picking not for strumming so we'll go ahead and continue Make sure you start out with a soft wood first. And start out with purple heart. That way, uh, otherwise you'll get pretty discouraged. So just keep on going. Still a little thick on the side right there. Still pretty, pretty bulky, but I've got a really, it's got a good shake on it. 
So I'm just going to work on taking a little bit off the sides and then uh, we'll continue with that. <laughs> out and put it on a, uh, a Dremel flap sander wheel. And then continue with that. divot right there on both sides and grab that. So that is Purple Heart, Pagodi, Bloodwood, and some white veneers. Alright, give us a thumbs up, like, or subscribe. Thank you.